Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vectors. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if the vectors A that is given to us as lambda i plus mu j plus 4k vector B which is given to us as minus 2i plus 4j minus 2k and vector C which is given to us as 2i plus 3j plus k. So we have been given these three vectors and they have told us these vectors are coplanar. That's the first condition given and also that says that the projection of vector A on vector B it is equal to square root of 54 units and the question further tells us sum of all possible values of lambda plus mu needs to be found out and if i talk about the answer choices that are present here they are 24 0 18 and the next one is 6 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. So let's figure out. Now we know that projection of vector A on vector B it's given to us as dot product of the two vectors divided by the magnitude of vector B and that is equal to given to us as root of 54 units. So if I find out the dot product of vector A and vector B. So vector A it's given to us as lambda i plus mu j plus 4k and vector b it's given to us as minus 2i plus 4j minus 2k and then we have to find the dot product of that and it's also given to us as denominator should be magnitude of vector b which is nothing but square root of minus 2 squared 4 squared and minus 2 squared which is equal to square root of 54. So that is the whole thing given to us. Now, if I find a dot product, I get this as minus 2 into lambda plus 4 into mu. So just multiplying the coefficients of the respective vectors of i, j and k and plus 4 into minus 2, which is minus 8 divided by square root of 16 plus 4 plus 4, which is 24. And it is equal to square root of 54. So from here, I get minus 2 lambda plus 4 mu minus 8 is equal to square root of 54 into square root of 24. 54 I can write as 9 into 6. 24 I can also write that as 4 into 6. So from here I get this as square root of 9 into 4 into 6 into 6. So square root of 2 6's will give us 1 6 out. Square root of 9 it's 3 and square root of 4 it's 2. So if I multiply them this is given to us as minus 2 lambda plus 4 mu minus 8. So minus 2 lambda plus 4 mu minus 8. And this becomes 6 into 6 which is 36 which is minus 36 equals 0. So from here I get one condition. Let's see what do I get here. So I get 4 mu minus 2 lambda minus 54 equals 0. I divide throughout by 2. I get 2 mu minus lambda minus 22 equals 0. So from there I get one condition in terms of mu and lambda and that is 2 mu minus lambda equals 22. So that becomes your one equation in terms of mu and lambda. Now let's find out the second also. So second it's told to me that the three vectors are coplanar. When the three vectors are coplanar here the scalar triple product of that basically becomes equal to zero. So basically that means box product of the three vectors is equal to zero. Means if I find out the determinant of the coefficients of three vectors, that's equal to zero. So for vector A, we have the coefficients as lambda, mu and four. For B, we had that as minus two, four and minus two. And for C, we have that as two, three, one. So we know that the determinant of this entire thing is equal to zero. So from here I get lambda 4 minus minus 6 so plus 6 so 4 plus 6 which is 10 minus mu we get minus 2 and minus of minus 4 so plus 4 and we get minus 4 or plus 4 minus 6 and minus 8 
it's equal to zero. So from here I get ten lambda minus four minus two, which is two. So minus two mu. And you get four and minus fourteen, which is minus fifty six equals zero. So from here I get ten lambda minus two mu equals fifty six. That basically becomes your equation number two. Now I have both the equations with me. Let's just solve these two equations and get the answer for lambda and mu. So the first equation it's told to me: two mu minus lambda equals twenty two. So if I write that, two mu minus lambda equals twenty two. And the second equation is told to me: ten lambda minus two mu equals fifty six. So if I add the two equations, I get this two lamb two mu cancelled out. From here, I get ten lambda minus lambda, which is nine lambda. Fifty six plus twenty two, which is seventy eight. So from here, I get lambda as seventy eight divided by nine. Once I get lambda from here, I can just figure out the value of mu. So if I figure out that putting it in equation one, I know two mu is equal to twenty two plus lambda, which is twenty two plus seventy eight divided by nine, right? So you get this as twenty two into nine, which is nine two is eighteen. One nine two is eighteen nineteen. So one ninety eight plus seventy eight divided by nine is equals to two mu. So from here you get mu is equals to two into nine. Just I'm bringing these two in the denominator and 198 plus 78, 8 plus 8 16, 9 plus 7 16 plus 1 17, 1 2. So 276 divided by 2 into 9. So from here, I get 2 cancelled here. I get here 138. So you get the value of mu as 138 divided by 9. Now you have got all the values for lambda as well and for the mu as well. The question is asking us to find out sum of All possible values of lambda plus mu. So we have only one one possible value for each of them. So if I put that, I get this as seventy eight divided by nine, and the other one is one thirty eight divided by nine. So denominator is nine, and one thirty plus seventy is two hundred and two hundred and sixteen. So two hundred and sixteen divided by nine. Nine twos is eighteen. Thirty six. Nine fours is thirty six. So from here, I get the value of lambda plus mu as twenty four, and if I see and figure out the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of vectors. So we were given three vectors. We were given two data that was projection of vector A on B and the two three vectors being coplanar. We used both the conditions and we got the answer for lambda and mu. And once we got that, we just found the sum of all possible values. That basically matches with the answer twenty four, which is option A. So A becomes the correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. so they can also take the benefit from this questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you